do you have any questions for your farmer or how you get your food? Do you have any questions you would like to ask him or her? The, the one thing that I would ask is what is the deep, uh, you know, what, in beef, what are they doing to the beef that, that has, you know, people get sick? The, I mean, that's one thing that I would like to know, why my steaks might be dangerous for me to eat if they're not under the right temperature or they're not, under the, or they're not heated or cooked to, to the correct temperature. Providing this edition's answer is Charity Bathurst, who lives on a farm in Dickinson County with her six children and husband, Jeff. The family's farm includes cropland and cows. They grow wheat, alfalfa, corn, soybeans, and sunflowers. It's truly a family operation. Jeff's dad and brother work on the farm, too. Charity homeschools five of her kids and spends most of her time organizing the family schedule, preparing family meals, and working on the farm when she can. Well, steak, actually, you could eat practically raw. Maybe, you've, maybe your husband or maybe someone you know loves to eat them and rare or, or pretty pink in the middle. And the reason that is possible is because it has not been exposed to airborne contaminants. I like to use ground beef. Um, and it's a very versatile way to eat beef and it's just right, easy to prepare. And so that particular, the fact that it is ground up means it's, it's more exposed to b bacteria and E. coli being a very dangerous bacteria. So it's important for me to be sure to thaw it correctly and to wash my utensils, not to share my utensils with vegetables, with raw meat, and just to be mindful of that. But it's perfectly safe when just cooked thoroughly. I mean, it, it's so usable.